up YouTube, it's Boss Gamer. I'm back here with another video. And today we're gonna be making a custom fidget spinner. And all you really need is um a ruler, some scissors to cut it, a Q tip to cut the Q tip, a little Lego thingy. This Lego right here. It has like a hole through the middle. That and we need two of each color. Well actually one of any color you want. I, I picked two green ones. I already made one. And you need two pennies, okay? That's all you need. And a hot glue gun, don't forget that. And here's a fidget spinner that I already made. I made this fidget spinner. Hold on. I made this fidget spinner um, already. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you in the dark. Wait, hold on, the other one's cut off. So yeah, guys, that's what it looks like. And um, I don't want to take too much of your time, so let's just get straight into this video. Hope you like, subscribe. Today, I have a question for y'all. Which one of these do you like better? Do you like this three-sided one right here? Or will you like a two-sided one that we're about to make? And that's going to be their question for today. And tell me if you like this video or not. Because this is a new channel that I have. I already had a channel before, but this is my new one. And yeah, so first you want to start off with is getting the ruler to the centimeter side. Now, you should measure the um, Q-tip, not like from the circle part. The end where you stick it in your ear. Okay, but you're going to put it to the zero. All the way to the three. And that's where you're going to cut at. Okay, so let's do it. Let's cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Wow. So, cut it. You don't necessarily need scissors, but whatever you can cut with, it's fine. As long as your parents let you do it, then yeah, it's pretty good. Where did it go? I, I couldn't find it. I can't find that. Oh my guys, we're going to have to restart that. Oh, I found it. I found it. It's right there on the floor. Wait, that's not it. Okay, guys, so we're going to have to do a new one. We're going to have to get another one. And do it. For the first one apparently just flew away. I don't know where, but it did. So from here to Okay, guys, I saw it where it went this time. Oh, the old one is right there. Like, literally, that just kind of low-key made me mad right there. Okay, so the ruler and the scissors are done with. As soon as you get this little, the, um, this little stick that you should have, you would want to get it, get the, um, the Lego thingy, hot glue one side, and then stick one of stick the laser, or whatever you want to call it, a light laser. Doesn't really matter. As long as I'm a savage, then it's good. As long as my whole team is a savage, then we're good. Guys, I'm gonna be giving one of these away for free. I'm going to be giving one away for free. Maybe. But it's not going to be... Actually, no, no, I'm not going to give one away. Because I might do these for a different special occasion. So you want to glue both sides, okay? There's both sides. And then you should let that sit to dry. You want to get the stick, get the penny... You want to glue part of the penny. Glue. 
little bit. Then just stick that part on top of it. And you should let that dry. And yeah, wait for it to dry. Still waiting for it to dry, guys. With this one, you can't really do tricks that that much. But you can't do that much tricks. I can't do it because I'm holding the camera. Yeah, I can't do it right now because I'm holding the camera. But wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna try it. Ready? See? That doesn't work that good. But yeah, guys, so, anyways, this should be done. So you would. Yeah, it's done. So you put that one on top, put, put it through the um, hole of the Lego. And this other part, you wanna, you're going to want to glue part of it like that, and then you're just gonna want to leave it through, then stick it on top of it. So it's gonna look like this. You want to leave a little space there because when you twist it, sometimes it moves like up and down. So there should be some space from it. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, guys. I will test it out after it's done drying. No! I just accidentally pulled it off by just messing with it. Like, what the heck? So I'm gonna fix this one. The pin is hot. Like, from the hot glue, it's hot. Okay, so, yeah, it's done, guys. See, the reason why you want some space is because, look... You see how it spins, it, and when you spin it, it moves, kind of. So it's good to have space because it spins longer. Wait. But yeah, guys, we're about to test it out, okay? I'm going to turn the lights really fast. And ready, set, go. I don't know what's happening, but I keep on accidentally um, turning it off. There. Wait, one more time. Okay, really hard. Okay, but yeah. That's for today's video. I want you to leave in the comments which one do you like better. And tell me why. Like, is it just because of the colors? Or is it, like, because it spins longer? Because, like, look. This one doesn't have that much space between it. And this one has, it like, extremely a lot. So this one spins kind of longer. And I don't know if y'all seen um, fidget spinners that are only two-sided. But there's some two-sided ones and there's three-sided ones. I recommend the three-sided ones. My personal favorite is the three-sided ones. But yeah guys, hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, share this video, follow me on my social medias. The thing is going to be in the description. My Instagram name, my Snapchat name is going to be in the description and my Facebook name. Okay, but yeah guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you liked it. Bye.